Hello. Welcome to Spank Line. My name's Jane. Could I have your credit card number? And then we can get down to business. Everybody, it's a very, very big scene. The preacher's going to come out and tell you that there'll be no burning tonight. It's really exciting. Well, to go to your homes. You're not happy about it. Well, about lots of mumbling and grumbling, okay? Right, I'm on that's okay with me. Right, ready to go for a take? Action! Go home, you people. There'll be no burning of witches tonight. Mumbling and grumbling. Was somebody speaking while our preacher was speaking? That was me. I was mumbling and grumbling. That's, that's what you asked for. After the preacher's finished speaking. All right. Okay. Right. A little bit more volume from the crowd. It's a witch burning. Burn the witch. witch. Not happy about it. Not happy at all. Action. <laughs> Go home, that's you people. That's a lot of nonsense. There'll be no burning of witches <laughs> tonight. Burn the witch. 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 A lot of nonsense. Cut. <laughs> Who said that? that? That was me. What did you say? I said, that's a lot of nonsense, burn the witch. I mean. Okay, please try and speak at the same volume right. as the rest of the crowd. Right. Right. And so I want the crowd to be more angry, more right. animated. Have to be louder. So witch burning for God's sake, okay? Action! Go home, you people. Uh, There'll be no burning of witches. That's a tonight. lot of shite. I got rid of that witch. She's not, right. nothing but trouble anyway. Right. With a broomstick and a black cat and all that. Cut! <laughs> What's your name? Hey, my name's Ronald, Ronald Villiers. I'm with Widdicom and Pump. Please try and speak in unison with the rest right. of the crowd. So, sorry, wait a minute. It's, hey, sorry, to interrupt. Unison. Unison. At the same, same time. time. I, I thought I knew okay. that. I, I knew that. And I have a question for you. What was all that about black cats and broomsticks? Oh, but she's have got black cats and broomsticks, haven't they? Yeah, maybe in The Wizard of Oz. This is Salem, okay? It's a different thing entirely. Right. Okay, are we ready? Burn the witch! He I'm comes out, angry, 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 angry. Tells you to go home. Right. Action! Feel good about this one. Go home, you people! Burn the witch! There'll be no burning of witches tonight! Burn, burn, burn the witch! Burn, burn the witch! But she's not got a pointy hat or anything like that because this is Salem and it's not the Wizard of Oz. No way! Jesus! Right, I'd like you to come forward if you don't mind. What's your name again? I told you, Ronald. 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 Okay, Ronald. Ronald. If you could try it this way for me right. if you don't mind. Okay. Say nothing. Right, so that's been Ogaline. I'm going to make you the leader. Wait a minute. I might not have... I might as well not have came here the day if I've not got a line. I'm going to make you the leader, though. You're the leader of the crowd. All right. OK? I'm the leader. That's right. right. Preacher comes out, says his line. Right. Crowd go nuts. Except me. Except you, right. that's right. Okay. You say absolutely I'm nothing. I'm not saying anything. I'm not going to say it. When the crowd have finished going nuts, right. you throw down your torch. Down it goes. That's the cue for the crowd to disperse. So they're not moving it. I do that. That's right. right. Well, you I'm do the leader. all that. You're listening. Right. OK. I'm ready. Action! Go home, you people! There'll be no burning of witches tonight! Burn her, witch! Burn her tonight! Burn her! Shut up, everybody, because I'm the leader, so away we go, up the road, because if you follow me, let's go home. I thought it was good there. I'll tell you what, I'm bloody roasting. I can't believe the size of this place. Right. You've got to watch, especially when you've got this much stock. The men build skiving caves. Skiving caves? Uh huh. Take the pallets, build them into walls, and hide in there. Fly monkeys, eh? <laughs> Paper, tranny, sleeping.
The light's gone out, and there's a ship heading towards the rocks. <laughs> going to know day that. Who? Oh. Just going to know. Aye, he's up the stairs, more looking after our guest. You know we've got somebody staying, don't you? Ah, you do. I told you the other night. It's Kylie McWilliam. She's one of the Kosovo and refugees. And Derek brought her back for Chapman's on Sunday. I tell you, Mum, there's no many wives could say that they've got a man that would look after complete strangers for the other side of the world, especially 17-year-old ones. Aye, Derek's teaching her English. Yes. 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 Do you hear that? That's him teaching her to say yes. I tell you, Mum, it's really strange hearing a foreign language spoken in your own house. His Majesty's home for the blind. His Majesty's home for the blind. You could sneak in and feel them, they really go by. His Majesty's home for, His Majesty's home for, His Majesty's home for the blind. They don't see nothing. His Majesty's home for the blind. Now, after a long morning's walk, the sight of this stretch, with its sharp incline, can seem very intimidating. Uh, that's right, Rory, because uh, this particular stretch of road here is a particular favourite with uh, the backpackers and the hitchhikers alike, because uh, what they like to do is try and catch a lift up to the famous McGrory's Tavern for a spot of refreshment. Let's see how long it takes us to catch a lift. <laughs> uh, <laughs> look, look, here we go. <laughs> Oh, eh, no bad, eh, Alistair? I can almost taste McGrory's legendary broth. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, lads. Cheers. Oh, hi, very good. Very, very good. Hey, <laughs> come <laughs> What ship is it? La Vagia? No, it's Senor Quinn, the bordel Felicio! Justice! That donkey jumper shouldn't be dangling his bait north of Porto Tuato! He shot over the ass, cracked by cover of night! What course, Captain, shall I fire up my lantern? Blow the Felicio! He's up behind Quinn and then nobble her hind! Aye, aye, sir! <laughs> Now, this project's been in development for some time, uh, as is always the case with listed buildings, an absolute nightmare of red tape. 18 luxury apartments converted from this church. Penthouse at the top, four corner apartments, and a shared vestibule in the... 
Ja ist er da, Bonnacke? That you sorted, Bobby? Oh, aye, aye, aye. A wee bit of sawdust always does the trick. Give that a couple of minutes, it'll be right as rain, eh? Ah, sawdust. Great stuff. You taking a gym class today? No, actually, I've uh, done my leg in playing football. It's torn ligaments. Takes four weeks to heal, apparently. Nonsense. <laughs> Give that ten minutes, it'll be as right as rain. Now it's time to revisit Moss Park Bowling Club, ten months after Danny McIntyre was expelled in a storm of controversy. It's a beautiful morning, and an important one for Moss Park. Margaret, the Ents convener, prepares for the year's finals, where Moss Park meets Finiston. Well, it's a big day for the club today, you know, because uh, we're defending our title against Finiston. A wee bit of a problem there, because uh, Danny McIntyre, that plays for Finiston, and our man, Pete McCutcheon, they don't really see eye to eye, you know, bit of bad blood there. Anyway, I'm not bothered about that, because I've got lunches to prepare here and get sorted out, because uh, a regular chef's off with uh, a bad bout of Bell's palsy, you know, so we've got a new boy in. That's a bloody good advert, that, smoking out of the bloody sausage rolls. Why well, you cook the lot yourself, darling? <laughs> oh, Charmin! What's the colour of his horns? <laughs> In the boardroom, Moss Park plan their match strategy. Hey, okay, now listen, boys, listen, listen. Sammy, you need to keep your eye out for that Bobby Kelly. He's your danger man. Oh, no, here now. No, you don't have to worry about him. No, he took a stroke about four months ago. He's not got the grip anymore. No, he couldn't snap a wet fag now, no. Mate, the only problem I see for you is Danny. He's hot to bring you down. Now, you see, listen, Danny's a panic merchant. See him go down to the wire, right? His bottle will crash. No, f Danny. He's a prick. Meanwhile, in the kitchen... That's 24 for fish and 24 for the beef, right? <laughs> Jeez, that fish looks iffy. Right, that. Who's chef in here? Ouch! Yes. Big Frank. Hello, Mike. Hello. Tension is high as Finiston arrive. Hi. Hi. Fanny. Household. <laughs> Look at this place, eh? What a bloody toilet, eh, lads? Ah, it's a damn sight better than that bloody shithole of clubhouse you've got in Finnison. Yeah, what was that? Why yeah. oh, don't you have some peas there? Eh? A couple of peas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see your aim's just as good as I was, was he? Right. Hey! Mags is on hand to act as peacemaker. Hey, that's enough, OK? Keep your shagging fine throughout the shagging green. You're not having this in my clubhouse, bastards. It's late in the game. The final could go either way, suddenly and without warning. Oh, keep that fish! <laughs> Food poisoner. It's all right. Well, I'll be all right. I had the beef. <laughs> I mean, you that's them down a couple of good players now, you know. McCutcheon have the fish. I don't know. Oh, I'm just, I'm just uh, telling him I, I took the beef. I, I didn't have the fish. I had a wee fork for a huge fish, right enough. But, but that, that, that was all, you see. I'm a wee bit, you know. But I, I, I think I'll be all right. You know? In fact, there's, there's you there. <laughs> With players now falling ill, the game is becoming a farce. Come on, you! Hurry up for Christ's sake! 
Pete and Danny reach the final. <laughs> Danny! Ah, you're up against it now, my kitchen, eh? <laughs> and it's Pete's last ball. The trophy rests on it. Oh! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, oh no! <laughs> And for finish then, Danny McIntyre. Next week on Cheers, The Bulls, mate. Danny receives his trophy from Pete. There you go. Mags <laughs> discovers she's to be a grandmother for the eighth time. What? Again? You let rabbit shoes to you. And Danny arranges the catering for Pete's 60th birthday party. <laughs> Tonight at nine, heading towards you at top speed. I'm Humphrey Grammer. I'll be looking at the Sabishi Sabre 4x4 Turbo Interfreezer. Some say it's a bit of a samurai warrior. I say it's a bit like sushi. Roar and cack. <laughs> I'm Tabitha Tecton Farfa. I'll be testing the latest offering from Italian designer Scribolini Farti Panzo, the Fiat Focaccia. Typically Italian, you push it too hard, it surrenders. They say, il ducci. I say, I'll douche. Hi, I'm Ken White. Pulling power, not what it used to be. I'll show you how to get a Jerry Fanny magnet wrapped round about you for under 25 large. <laughs> Tonight at nine, join Humphrey, Tabitha and Ken for Shite About Cars. <laughs> Well, Mrs. Patterson, it's not the greatest of news, I'm afraid. Um, we have the tests back from the hospital, the x-rays, the blood tests. It's not very good at all. I'm afraid your son definitely has it. Magic. <laughs> 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 what you you get me a... Um... <laughs> get me a... Um... An oyster! <laughs> And now the main points of this afternoon's budget again. Interpreting for the Neds, Rab McGlinchey. How are you doing? As expected, the Chancellor increased tax on the old favourites alcohol and tobacco. Beer will go up by four pence a pint, while smokers can expect to pay as much as £3.97 for 20 cigarettes. So I say you can't blame me for why I'm in well, I can still afford it, man. This dobber should be wearing a mask, so he should. You know, I've got no choice but to get a line of my brass transit, battle down to Cali and jam it out with fags and creates that mad blonde and Del Lager. <laughs> A shout from that, a wee message that, no? Meanwhile, there was better news for drivers as the Chancellor outlined plans for a price freeze on a gallon of unleaded petrol. That's better news. Don't talk piss. He's not got a scooby, by the way. <laughs> He's just going through the roof. I've got good mates right at work in the carnival. This could put 20 pence, 20 pence, on the price of a shot in the dodgems. <laughs> and finally, the Chancellor targeted absentee fathers. As well as an increase in the level of monthly child maintenance, he announced tough new powers for the Child Support Agency. Aye, sure, I'm falling through into my boxers on that one. Listen, if you've not got it, we can't get it off you. So look, mates, right, don't go short-changing yourself. Just bleed skin, then gear what you can gear, no? <laughs> Good night. Good night. <laughs> Sorry I'm late, Gary. The Daihatsu's getting serviced. I had to jump a corpy bus. That's quite all right, James. I've been spending the last few years travelling through the schemes myself, so I have. <laughs> Oh, the Gleska gangs, the Tots and the Toy, the Bison and the Cumbie. Tell me, Gary, has there been a right good rammy yet? Well, this particular episode concerns the running battle between the Tongs and the Fleet. Oh, do tell. Well, Deke, he's one of the Fleet, or he's just after getting his coupon marked on the toilets of the Badlands. Ah, oh, the legendary ballroom above the barrels. Oh, half a crown entry, quarter bottle down the trousers, and the bouncers honing out blades at the door. Tell me, Gary, was blood spilt on the Gallagate? Gallons of it, James, gallons. Oh, steel was flashed, brogues were spattered, and dish after dish was carved a brand new smile by the house of Fraser. Oh, the mindless <laughs> charm of men behaving badly. Oh, good June, James, but don't forget, this is back in the days when murder made front page of the paper. Ah, uh, you're right enough there, Gary. I haven't read about a right good Malky in ages. Mm. <laughs> 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 
Here, mate, eh, uh, sorry, the public toilet's out of order there, and, eh, uh, could I, eh, uh, I know it's, I know it's cheeky, oh, man. No, it's okay. Here's your loo, no, right? it's fine, oh, mate. Cheers, cheers. Thanks, sir. Thanks, I really appreciate this. Uh, no problem. Land. Could do with some, do you know what I mean? There you are. Give that a couple of minutes, that'll be fine. <laughs> My mom's a millionaire. <laughs> How's your head? Terrible. Never again, oh. midweek. What were we thinking? Oh, I know. Huh? Hey, no. Oh, God. I'm bad. You've got blood in your coat. Oh, God. Who did I have? Must have. Dribble out that... <laughs> liver tree. Oh, God, liver. I had to put kidneys in the grinder this oh, morning. Kidneys. They're grinder. Oh, yeah. When he gives that cloth, I've got to wipe this blood off. Where is it? Underneath it. Oh. Awful. Oh. oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> yes, madam. Um, can I have a pound of. Uh, um. Uh, Tongue, please. <laughs> okay, everybody. Uh, Richie Sampson will now answer some questions. Lance Norwood, New York Times. Lance. Richie, were you surprised by the success of branching out on Broadway? Well, not so much surprised, more delighted, you know. I mean, New York's the capital of the world, and I think every actor, no matter who you are, wants to be involved in a success here, you know. <coughs> Stacey Dupree, Herald Tribune. Do you see yourself moving to Hollywood soon? Hollywood? <laughs> well, there's a couple of things in the pipeline, but uh, nothing concrete, you know. I think I'd rather wait before I take the plunge and try and find something that appeals to me artistically as, as well as financially. Ian Meek, Daily Record. Richie, you missing your moist chips? Oh, piss off! <laughs> Betty. Hey. Betty. Uh, well, hello. There's a relative of yours here to see you. Relative? <laughs> Hi. Betty McCarroll. Hi. I'm Titus Piemontelli III. I'm really excited to meet you. I've been reading up on... Uh, Genealogy? St. Jaina, I suffer for son. No, I've been tracing the family tree. I'm uh, Shirley's son. Shirley? Shirley, your daughter. Ah, troll. <laughs> Haven't seen her since she went to America in 63. She called me a cow. Well, uh, Mom sends her hugs. Um, she was telling me about uh, my grandfather, Charlie, the war hero. Uh, I want to know what uh, Gramps was like. Charlie, the war hero? Gave me a service to the brothels than he did to the battlefield. <laughs> Shut it. He sent him, he was off his seat and bedridden, shouting out all the names of the French whores and that. I was still good for a plunge, but Charlie was about as much just to me as a wet smarty tube. I'm sure they popped out, I just tell him that that was his last squish of dignity. Be a bugger than they know any different, you know. So if it's not Charlie, who, who is my grandfather? I had your mother in February 46, so she'd have been conceived round about the time I was getting manky with Tinker McCusker, the ragman. The 
Mr. Ragman. I see in them days you could sell old clays for money. Think of it, a, a dirty bugger. He was never off the bones, you know. Try <laughs> firing into itchy wives and, and lonely widows. Wouldn't have much to look at either. Just the one eye and half his teeth were missing with the pie or ear, you know. And I reaped a cheese. Look <laughs> him, Bobby, he had on him. Sometimes he, in a dark night you could mistake him for his horse. I did that a couple of occasions. So I, I've got to add this Tinker McCusker to their family tree? No, well, it wouldn't just be Tinker McCusker. You'd have to add Wiley the Coleman and Sweeney the Lamplighter and uh, the fella with the limp that did the gas. Oh, and there was a the Fitbit team as well that laid up the pit. I mean, you're, you're going to be kept busy, son, and tracing this family tree, the amount of fellas that were hanging out me at that time, you know? Oh, thanks, Betty. Call me Granny. Hola! 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 Valashi petrol! Ni Valashi petrol! Ni Valashi car! For puppets! Valashi munches! Valashi lucky! Lucky! Valashi fresh cream! Fresh cream! Valashi snickers! Valashi snickers! Aloshi, M and M. Oh, M and M. Oh, can of Aloshi M and M. Only for Aloshi Minstrel. Aloshi <laughs> Minstrel. Mm, okay. Okay. <gasps> oh, Aloshi Rizla. 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 And Roach. What's a roach? What's a diddy? Cardboard! Oh, cardboard, the joint. Eh? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hola! Hola! That's me sorted for a lumber the night. What are you on about? Flavoured condoms. <laughs> what the hell use of flavoured condoms to women your age? They can't resist them. Yeah. Mint imperial. <laughs> Barley sugar. <laughs> Scotch broth. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.